Where the Quinault River meets the Pacific Ocean on the coast of Washington, this APLUW research team tackles a big question. The main thrust of the project is studying what happens when a river plume collides into ocean waves. The interaction of the ocean and a small river, the Quinault, is the team's focus. So you think about a river outflow, it has a ton of energy, it's coming down, ripping out of the mountains, and smashes into the ocean. That's what the interesting part of this is, is when does the fresh water escape that uh, this narrow band of breaking waves called the surf zone, right by the beach? Um, when does the fresh water escape from there? When does it get penned in? Do you get full mixing of the river plume in the surf zone? And what happens to all that fresh water? What happens to all the nutrients that come out uh, with that fresh water, all the sediment? Most of these mm -hmm. parts. This team combines years of expertise in water. Having spent a career studying waves, I have a really strong picture in my mind of what to expect when I go out in the ocean on any given day. So I've been studying river plumes for quite a while. That's the uh, core of my research, but we've never really looked at the, uh, what happens when river plumes are entering a surf zone where rivers meet really big waves. There hasn't been the technology to get at it. Fire it up. The team sought a valuable new perspective, a bird's eye view. We brought in a UAV, a drone, to fly about 500 feet up from the river mouth and take video footage of what's going on as the river hits these breaking waves. The drone can give us a, a really nice sense of spatial patterns that are emerging as the river uh, exits through, uh, through the surf zone. But the view from above is only one piece of this puzzle. Much of the data set had to be acquired in the water. We used these swift drifters placed them in the river mouth. See you later. And then they would follow the river water out and track where it went, uh, ideally, and measure what it experienced in terms of how, what its salinity was, how much salt there was in the water, uh, how big the waves were, how strong the currents were, all those sort of measurements, but traveling with the same water that it exited, that exited the river mouth. Deployed for the first time, a new and improved free-floating swift drifter, smaller, shallow draft, and sporting a new generation of sonar. A turbulence sensor underneath that uses the Doppler shift of sonar pulses found to be an incredibly high fidelity measurement of turbulence. Just one part of a network of sensors deployed in an effort to create a full picture of a complex energetic environment where river merges into ocean moving from a terrestrial ecosystem into this marine ecosystem. And so it's collecting all of these nutrients, pollutants, sediments, microorganisms, and dumping them into a completely different environment. And that has a huge impact on that coastal ecosystem. The team is betting that impact can be measured. We spent two weeks at the Quinault River mouth uh, repeating these releases of drifters and repeating these measurements and the drone flights and, and we had moorings out that we were monitoring the whole time so that we collect a large data set from which we can try to understand these patterns. From the beginning of time, from creation, Quinault people occupied this area. For this project, the APLUW team was hosted and assisted by the Quinault Nation. We had a really nice collaboration with the Quinault tribe. They don't spend a lot of time out in the surf zone along the beach, and so getting data through that difficult region that's often you know, untraveled and unsampled uh, has been some interesting observations for them. The project we just finished up at the Quinault will be the main thrust of my PhD research uh, in, in trying to understand how a small river impacts waves in the surf zone and how those waves impact the small river. Uh, and using drifters and using a drone in this way is something that hasn't really been done before. We have reason to believe there might be some sort of breakthrough or a idea buried in the data somewhere that no one's come up with before, and that's pretty exciting. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.